We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Thank you. Friends and family on Discord and Telegram, friends and family will prosper. Let's pick up for business. Okay, everyone, we are marking up A-U-D-N-Z-D. Let's take a look at what's going on. Okay, market went into, ran into area resistance, or market started off in area resistance back in November 2001. Got a few levels to the bottom. Uh, from here, the market just dropped. Came back to retest, was able to break. Came back to retest, was able to break. Went to major area support. Uh, we got the single bottom, market pushed up back into the area of resistance, previous areas of resistance. We got the triple top slash double bottom, double bottom, showing that the market, if the market retests, we probably get that push up, here we go. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Uh, most likely the retest was trying to happen somewhere here, not here, then it could still push up. Didn't happen, market pushed right back down. Market went into another area of support, lower lows, we got about one, two, three, four. So it looks like this was trying to be the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Let me do that over. So we got the we have the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, fifth leg, sixth sixth leg. So this would have been a triple triple bottom with the retest, and the market was looking to push up, but the retest came all the way back down, down to the bottom of support and then we pushed up from there the market we got the red bearish candle that engulfed the bullish candle showed that the market dropped all the way back down to the support again also have another pattern it's double bottom first leg second leg third leg <clears throat> Fourth leg. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Here comes a retest. Retest came all the way back down here. Major area. Very important. So this long wick showing that the market wasn't able to hold at the bottom here to close out. So the market closed out here. I mean the market lost momentum. Not once but twice. And the market showed that our market's gonna shoot up and it did. The huge single bottom after the retest. Market came back down to retest this area of the support and resistance. Looks like a double bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Okay, here goes the retest. After the retest, we look for the breakout, which happened here. Major area resistance. We got the um what is this? this is the evening star showing that the market is going to drop it's got the doji in the middle which is the evening star engulfing pattern so once you see this area engulfed showing that the market is going to push down push all the way back down to area support broke one area support went to another area support and then we got a double top first leg second leg third leg fourth leg double top after the double top we found a retest here market dropped all the way back down confirming that the drop is going to happen Took that for the ride. Went, to another, went back into the previous areas of support years later. So market returned back to previous areas of lower lows. Major area consolidation. We have a midpoint here. So market riding the first level, second level, first level, second level, buying and selling. Also within these patterns, also within these Candles, we do see patterns. I go to double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Retest, major area, pattern, market pushed up. Market pushed up, previous area support, came back down. So now we gotta figure out what's going on in the market in this area. Also see a pattern, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. 
retest trying to happen. Market may push up. If not, push down. If not, ride this first level. If not, go back to the second level. Ride the bottom lower lows. Plenty of options here. Plenty of options of AN. Let's clear our screen. So we did figure out market structure. So the area we in look like a double bottom. What's the market look like it's going up for that uptrend? We can create SR lines. Look for price action. So price action is the last active candle. So with this last active candle, we have to look at what price is trying to break. So first off, we have to break this area is located already at. The next level up. And another level down, which would be this inverted peak here, or you can grab this inverted peak here. So this looks much better. Grab this inverted peak here. Grab that inverted peak here. And what we'll do is grab another inverted peak here. Grab this peak here. Let's see if we can go a little further up this time. We're going to grab this peak here. We're also going to grab this peak here. So the area we're in right now, so on this time frame, we're going to add some more SR lines. So we're going to do a zoom in. We're just going to look for these levels. Let's do this top-down analysis. There's a level here. We have an inverted area here. We have another peak here. We have a few peaks here. And we have an inverted peak here. Okay, so let's see if we can identify what's going on in the market. Let's grab our shade. So the area we're going to be paying attention to is here. So within this shade, so what we see is here, we see the double bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest happened, push up, and then the retest market came right back down to retest this area of support. If it pushes up again, it can happen. If not, it can do a double bottom, double top. But a push up may happen in this area. If it pushes, if the market does come back down, it's fine. Just let the market figure out the, you know, let the market do the pattern it's going to do. And then it'll figure out itself. It will see entry. It will take it back up. Before we at right now, if we catch an engulfing pattern in this area here, the market can't push up to previous areas of high highs. So what we're going to do is let's 
tighten it up a little more. And let's head down a time frame. We're going to pay attention to this area here. Okay, I got a pattern right here. The, ma the market has identified itself. Here we go. On a daily time frame, we found it. Let's see how many pips we can get out of this. So we have the double bottom. Here we go. First leg, second leg, third leg. We got the engulfing with that last market right there, that last candle. That last price action candle is a engulfing pattern. It will overlap the previous two candles, even his own. And then the market can shoot up to here. Back to previous areas of high highs. So let's take a look at see how many pips that will be if we found entry, which we did find entry. We gotta wait for this market to close out, which it looks very clean right here in this time frame. So before I move down the time frame again, I'm gonna go over you guys what we trade the breakout retest pattern. For example, if the market's headed up somewhere and it's gonna break through our SR lines, what we do is we wait for a price to reach our SR line. We do not take entry. We wait for a price to break our SR line. To once the market comes back to retest our SR line, we'll look for entry and then take it to the next level, which will be here. Once again, we will not take entry right away for our first uh, entry for our SR line. We wait for price to break our SR line. Once market price return back to our SR line, we look for identification that the market's going to push up again. And we'll take it for the trade here and then take it to the next level. Also, everyone, to figure out what's going on with these patterns and how to take entry with these patterns, what you're going to do is go to Google. Type in Forex Pattern Cheat Sheets. Review the images. What we have is PDF forms. So if you like want to watch PDF forms of your candlesticks on your time frames, you also we have the selection of candlestick charts. You want to look up stocks, charts, patterns, reversal patterns, bearish patterns, technical analysis patterns. So all types of patterns. So review all these images. Uh, once the more I, the more you get the idea of what you see in the market, you take it over this way. Here we go. Here we go. For example, triple top, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, fifth leg, sixth leg, triple top. So if you put a line here, market try to break this line. How many times? Once, twice, three times. Wasn't able to break. So the market dropped back down. So once you once you start reading these support and resistance and these lines of these patterns. The forest pattern cheat sheet you understand. So this is how we know that the market may push up for the top side because we see that double double pattern, double bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. Okay, if it doesn't push up from here, the market can retest again and push up. It can retest twice and then push up. But the push up can happen. If we see otherwise, we can pull out our trade. You'll know when you see otherwise. So Let's go down to a time frame of four hours, see if we can see any type of entry. So from here, what I see with this pattern is I see a triple bottom. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, fifth leg, sixth leg. Retest is trying to happen here. So the market shows that it may push up again. So market is about to return back to higher highs on this time frame. So if we found some type of entry once it's closed out.
So AUD, NZD, amazing trade, everyone. And once this market closed out, we're going to be looking for the double top, the double bottom forming for another push up to back to previous areas of higher highs, which would be 87.8 pips. You don't want to take it to that level, go one level down for 64 pips, 58 pips, 41 pips. I'm confident with 90 pips. If not, we'll see it. We'll see the turnaround if it doesn't happen here. So we'll have, still have time to look at the market to get out. So this is amazing trade, everyone. AUD, NZD, 86 pips up to the top, 36 uh, for the bottom. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for watching, and thank you for your attention.